Okay, here we're told we've got two similar triangles. Now, a similar triangle is just an enlargement of another one. So all the angles, the shape, everything stays the same apart from the lengths. And all we do is we times the length by something to get to the new length. And we do that to all three of the lengths on the smaller triangle. Now, the thing we times them by is called the scale factor. And to work out the scale factor, we do big length. So the length on the big shape divided by small length. And the lengths are what we call corresponding, which means they're the same length. So if you put a little uh, bit of blue tack on that length and then enlarged it, it's the one the blue tack will be on. Okay, so big length is going to be 91. Small length is going to be 13 because those are two corresponding lengths. It means they're both at the same place. We're assuming these triangles haven't been rotated uh, which they haven't for this question. So 91 divided by 13 is going to be 7. So our scale factor for this question is going to be 7. Okay, now whenever we're going from small to big, we times by the scale factor, so we times by 7. But here, we're going from big to small. So to do that, if we're going the other way, Instead of times, we're going to do the inverse, which is divide by 7. So we're going to do 126 divided by 7. So 126 divided by 7 is 18. Now, last thing is just check that makes sense. Well, we've got a smaller triangle, so we've gone from 126 centimetres to 18 centimetres. That makes sense. And 126 is bigger than 91, so that length was going to be bigger than 13. Well, 18 is bigger than 13. So chances are it's the correct answer, which it is.